Hi, I'm Ian Jack. I'm a lecturer in clinical pharmacy and pharmacy practice here at Ulster University School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Science. And I want to invite you to come with me today as we view the facilities that we have here at the school and we speak a little bit about the courses that we have on offer. You join us here in our pharmaceutics lab. Pharmaceutics is the science of taking a substance that you would actually find on the bench, and you'll see behind me various powders and raw materials that we have, and taking it and converting it into a dosage form that we could then give to a patient. As you will see that we've got some equipment here that we would use to actually to test the tablets, and then we've also got our tablet die there for making the tablets. We have two courses here at the School of Pharmacy. We have got our MPharm course, and this is the course that you would do if you wanted to become a fully qualified pharmacist. And we also, as another undergraduate course, do an integrated master's in pharmaceutical biosciences. And uh, what is that uh, integrated master's? Well, this is in essence where you take the science of what you would learn in a pharmacy degree. Um, you learn about the pharmaceutical chemistry as well as uh, some of the uh, bioscience as well. Uh, but you don't necessarily look at the clinical component, that patient-facing focus that you would in the, the pharmacy degree. And apart from those courses, we also have a range of uh, master's courses that we offer as postgraduates as well. We are now in our chemistry lab, and as you can see that we have a very well equipped and well stocked laboratory here for our science practicals. Um, you might be wondering, will the whole class fit uh, within uh, this uh, laboratory? And the answer is yes, because we have small class sizes here in our undergraduate courses. The pharmaceutical biosciences will have a course of uh, round about uh, 12 to, to 15 students, and the MPharm course is round about uh, 40 students. So you'll see that 40 students per year will fit in very comfortably here uh, in this laboratory. Our school is based in the Corain campus, based in the small town of Corain in the north coast of the island of Ireland. As you well may be aware that there are four campuses for the university and as I say that we are based in the Corain one. All the facilities that are in the Corain campus are on campus so that the halls of residence are only a five minute walk from where we are stood uh, just now. And again, all the facilities are based uh, either in this building um, for the School of Pharmacy, or sometimes we may have sort of lectures in the uh, main building, which is just across the way. And again, there are, there's the student union, there are cafe, there's the cafeteria, there are shops uh, or e-shop over there as well, where you're able to um, buy things um, for your lunch or indeed for your uh, student accommodation. Um, as we look across in this uh, lovely sunny day that we're having uh, here in Corian, and um, you'll see the windmill just behind me and uh, just over, it generates enough power that would uh, power just approximately just over 20% of the uh, power that would, the, campus would, uh, the, the campus would need. The School of Pharmacy is based in what we call the SAD building. And this building was custom built when we opened the School of Pharmacy um, just a mere uh, 10 years or so ago. The, because of this, the, I remember walking in and you could see um, from one side of the building to the other and um, all the way down the corridor and it was just concrete uh, pillars. But we were then able to get it kitted out so you can be rest assured that you're going to be studying in a purpose-built facility that again has been built uh, merely uh, 10 years or so ago. So again, it's completely modern as you've seen from our facilities downstairs and fit for purpose for the teaching of uh, pharmacy or pharmaceutical bioscience. I'm standing now in the corridor where all the staff offices are based uh, here in the SAD building. Uh, we operate an open door policy so that if you've got any kind of uh, question um, whilst you're uh, studying here, again, you can just go and knock on the door of the individual staff member and speak to them. But not only that, that each student that comes and joins uh, with us in our course gets what we call a studies advisor. So that's an individual named member of staff who will be um, a support and a mentor to you over the four years that you're with us uh, here at uh, university. And uh, we 
invite you for uh, meetings that's two per semester in the first uh, year and then just one per semester again just to check in with you and see how you're you're doing but not only that it is to say that you can go at any point in time and speak to any staff um, for any kind of uh, problem uh, that you have and we're delighted to speak to you about it. Uh, this is our model pharmacy. Uh, this pharmacy, um, even though it maybe looks like uh, a real one that you would see in the high street, is in fact just a, a teaching lab. Um, however, it was built to the same sort of specification that you would see on a high street. And again, that you will see that we've got the kind of medicines that you would expect to see there uh, also. We run two kinds of classes uh, here. That we run our dispensing class, and that's when you get a, a prescription and where you uh, will dispense it as if you would uh, in a pharmacy in real life. And we also operate what we call responding to symptoms. And this is when you get uh, situations whereby people would come in off the street and go to their high street chemist and ask for um, problems with common ailments such as uh, stomach ache or headache or um, sore uh, muscles or something like that. And again, you would actually come in and then we learn or teach our students uh, how to respond to those uh, particular uh, ailments and indeed to recognize any of the warning signs that would require uh, further investigation and perhaps referral to uh, a doctor. Here's one of the lecture rooms uh, that we use and again this one is based uh, in the SAD Centre in the uh, School of Pharmacy and you'll see that we've got an extensive uh, range of computers uh, here so that uh, people come in and we've put our lectures ahead of time up on our intranet site and students can look at those notes and can download them prior to coming to class and again can work on them and um, sort of whilst they're sort of coming to class also. Just in recent years there's been an investment in improving the uh, Wi-Fi uh, access and capabilities and again what we find is that uh, a lot more students now are taking their own uh, laptops and MacBooks uh, with them to class and what you find though is that we've got um, far better uh, Wi-Fi enabling, enabling the student to connect to the network and again be able again to download their notes onto their own laptop and to follow it as the lecture progresses. And this is the uh, last stop uh, on our tour and once again here is a more traditional classroom again based in the, the school so again we like to have a good identity uh, for our school based in our, in our building and uh, this is a more uh, traditional style uh, classroom which again has got good Wi-Fi capabilities for people that come um, sort of with uh, their laptops and tablet de devices. One of the big advantages that we actually have of the school is that uh, everybody goes on placement. There is placement on our course from the first year through the fourth year and this placement involves not only community pharmacy but hospital pharmacy uh, also and we also have uh, trips to the pharmaceutical industry and a wholesaler as well. Placement or going on placement is something that is arranged for you. So if you're a student on our course, we will get placement uh, for you. This is not something that you, you need to do yourself. And so that, again, this could be a, a big draw from our international friends that are maybe coming to uh, the UK for the first time. And you think, oh, I don't know anybody or how will I get placement? Well, again, leave it to us and we will be able to arrange that uh, for you. And you will get that experience of both UK hospital and community pharmacy during your time here with us. So thank you for joining us in this short tour of the School of Pharmacy here in Coleraine. I think that you'll agree that from, from what you have seen is that we have got well-stocked modern uh, laboratories, we've got uh, excellent teaching uh, facilities, and we've got our small class sizes and a close-knit team of staff to support you in the student journey. And all these uh, factors have contributed to us being um, one of the best, if not the best, school of pharmacy in the United Kingdom as, um, as based on the Guardian uh, rankings. There are two main newspapers in the UK, one a Liberal and one a Conservative, and the Guardian is a Liberal and they do a University League table and uh, we are the top school of pharmacy uh, in uh, there. The only school that is above us, um, they do uh, sort of pharmacology, you wouldn't necessarily be able to do pharmacy uh, there. So again, we hope that you've enjoyed your tour, um, that my name has been Ian Jack. You can contact me by email on i.jack at ulster.ac.uk